Everybody ready to put on to put on your glasses? Glasses on. Okay, are we ready for the walk? Lesson begins. This is called the Wow Walk, and pretty soon you start to hear them. Sure, it may sound a little contrived, but bear in mind this is new to them. The glasses are a metaphor to help these seniors look at the world around them in a whole new and positive way. Some of them are heart shaped. Well, it's sort of a roller coaster ride. You know, if sometimes I'll be up and then the next time I'm just down. Just for sandwiches. Yeah. Nelson Edinger has suffered from depression most of his life. And as he got older, it was easier to slip into a dark place. It's hard to explain, but I, uh, I really don't. After all the years that you go through this, you'd think you'd have some answers, and the answers aren't always there. You know, and again, that's why I joined this. I said, well, maybe they can give me some ideas of how to approach things a little differently. Rather than feeling not good enough, we're going to look at ways to feel I'm okay, really. This is called Living Life to the Full, a community-based mental health workshop offered across the country. And this one in Sarnia, Ontario, is helping older Canadians cope with the psychological perils of the not-so-golden years. It's a time of loss. You're losing friends, you're losing loved ones, your body is changing, your purpose in life is changing. Just find a place where you might read this list. Jenny Hardy is an occupational therapist who works with seniors. She adapted the course to an aging population. It's just the cycle, right? Like the wow walk, she says. It's about changing how you see things. So for example, a common thought is, I don't have a purpose in this world anymore. So we can change that in two ways. We can change the way that they view that and say, was well, that really true? Can we think of some things that you do have a purpose for? What are you good at? And we start focusing on the positive side of that. So we're trying to shift their thinking and their behavior through the course. So it's like a little person living in your it's head. It's an innovative program, proven to work, and it was created to help a population in yeah, dire need. <laughs> a third of seniors in this country suffer from anxiety and depression. And more disturbing, in Canada, adults 65 and older have the highest suicide rate of any age group. And would you like a receipt? Evelyn Burns Weinrib is a rare public face of those statistics. A longtime volunteer at Baycrest Hospital in Toronto, she ended up here as a patient four years ago when she tried to kill herself. She was 78. I used to pray when I, if I went, ever went to synagogue, I would pray at the end. The la, one of the last prayers is to stand and pray for people who are dying. I used to <laughs> pray that I would die. Evelyn battled depression since she was a young woman. She pushed through it during a thriving career as a teacher and a busy life as a wife and mother. If I can't do that, I'll do something else. But as that life faded away, she began to lose her mobility too, and her world suddenly became unbearably small. So I had my pills, which I knew were not going to kill me, and a plastic bag. Did you get your lunch, Maria? Evelyn survived asphyxiating herself and another suicide attempt shortly after. The turning point came when she was in hospital. When I walked along the floors here and people came and they put their arms around me, some people, and told me how they cared. For the first time in my life, I allowed that to enter. And for the first time in my life, I felt someone cared. I want to thank you all for coming. Evelyn got help. Her life's work since, encouraging her peers to do the same. Now, finding a way out of loneliness is hard, but it can be done. A bird, a fish, a plant, whatever needs you to get up and give it water Take it for a walk. So the golden years are not so golden. Whoever called them the golden years was very young. They get tarnished, but we have, look, the sun is shining. And we have to look every day for something to be thankful for, every day. And when I get up in the morning, I think to myself, whom can I help today? And when I go to bed at night, whom did I help today? And if not, well, I'll try tomorrow. It's a mind shift, changing the picture of what old age looks like. 
Experts say depression is not a normal part of aging to be endured. Treatment based on changing perception and behavior is often very successful. It's no harder to treat it than it is for, for younger adults as long as they get evidence-based treatment. Nazreen Khatri uh, is a geriatric psychologist at Baycrest Hospital. She says people uh, actually well, keep getting better if they stick to it. It's kind of the gift that keeps giving. Um, in other studies we've done, we've found that immediately post-treatment, people are actually not as well as they are at three and six month follow-up because as long as you keep practicing, you know, healthy behaviors, yeah, the better off you'll be and you'll, you'll be able to handle life. Uh, I only did one school. Back in Sarnia, uh, handling uh, life became school. harder for Nelson and once his health went downhill. But he wants to get better and is hoping this will be the way. I'd like to be calmer. I'd like, certainly like to be happier. I think I have a few more years left. Uh, hopefully, they'll get the more golden. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Parsley, look at the parsley. Finding gold. The key, it seems, starts with finding a way to see the nuggets already there. Joanna Rumaliotis, CBC News, Sarnia, Ontario.